happy Saturday or whenever you're watching this. Might not be Saturday, you know. But it's Saturday, December 19th, day 19th of daily vlogging for Vlogmas situation. <laughs> day 19th. <laughs> I like that. 19th? Yeah, y'all see y'all check my watch. It's day 19. So, so, we are going to unveil the... <laughs> <laughs> the uh, uh what is it propane heater the propane the canco wave 8 heater we're gonna go ahead and try to set up and see if it actually works yeah for the, us the wave 8 yep the wave 8 okay all right so we bought the heater when we realized that uh winter time and no electricity equals not very good heat in the garage because it's only got a heat pump back there. So it's either a space heater or the heat pump. Both of them work off electricity. If you're not hooked up, electricity is not the most efficient way to go. So this is what we bought it primarily for. We bought a big one because we'd like to heat the whole RV with it if possible because the normal propane heaters are not very efficient. So when you run your big propane heater in the RV, you, you lose a lot of heat energy out the exhaust and through the floors and everything else. And you're running your battery in order to run that. This heater does not require any electricity. Now, we bought this a few days ago, and you'll see, you think that you're getting a whole system ready to go mm -hmm. until you look on the side and you say, oh yeah, it's got leg stands. That's an accessory. Yep. It doesn't say that you have to have them. And then you go to the back, somewhere on here. It's the, it's the, I think it's on the same. Oh, right here. Leg stands. Yep. And regulator hose not included. Way in a small print Thank there. you for telling me, Camco. Thank you for telling me. So if you're going to buy this and you're not going to wall mount it, which you probably have to buy a wall mount for, but if you're going to use it as a space heater like we're going to do, make sure you buy the legs because we had to order the legs separately. So yep. here's the wave heater that we're going to unpack here in a minute. We bought the leg kit. Just two bobo pieces of metal that it sits on to keep it off the floor. And then... We bought the dust cover for storage. I don't know if it's necessary, but it'll work. Keep the dust off the heating elements. And then we bought a 12 foot hose. Right now our intention with the hose is to run it either under the kitchen slide where there's a gap, which we'll probably do tonight, or under the back toy hauler door where there's also a gap when we're heating the toy hauler area. So let's go ahead and see what we got in the box. We have not opened this thing yet, so oh, first, first we look. May, we may be in for surprise. Is that what know. the YouTubers say? A first look. First look at it. Uh, yeah. uh, uh unveiling, un, um, unboxing situation. Jasper's interested, so uh, it's heavy. That's the first thing I'll note from picking it up in the box and from here. It's kind of heavy. Let's do this. Yeah, it's back up. There you go. Don't let uh, don't let it fall over. All right. Oh, okay. So it balances okay. Throw this stuff back in here. And let's see what we got. So you can see on the back already. It's got brackets. So I guess you would not really have to buy anything for wall mounting it. And here you go. You've got a template. So if you wanted to wall mount this and have it be your primary heat or have it be primary heat in an area, you can wall mount it. We're not going to do that because we don't really want to mount it on the wall. We want to be able to move it around. Yeah. That's why we got the legs. So you can got a carrying handle on the back. It is stable, but it's not supposed to be burnt, uh, run while it's mounted to the floor or while it's sitting on the floor. And let's see at the bottom. Yep, there's screw holes there. We got the legs. Hopefully these are self-explanatory. Yep. So how was the shipping? So we should obviously y'all we got these after we got the wave the whole unit. So it took a couple days, it was a few days. A couple Fish. days. It's not that you know we bought it from E Trailer and E Trailer's pretty good. Yeah. And it only took like three days to get. Yeah, it, it was pretty good shipping. And it was free shipping because we bought over fifty dollars worth of stuff. Yeah. 
typical man fashion. I'm not looking at the direction. He never does. You never need directions to put legs on something. You might have to be kind of special if you do. It's possible. You always go back and read the directions when it doesn't work. That's yeah. You read the directions. Dogs, back up. Yeti biting on it. No, Yeti. <laughs> Yeti is a shark. He bites everything. You should have heard Yeti this morning, though. Little, little aside, we were out playing with the dogs this morning, and Yeti, right here, runs Jasper's life. That's Yeti. He owns Jasper. The puppy. Yeti's the puppy. So we were throwing the ball off leash in a little area next to the park, and... Another dog came out and it's the quite play. A, came out to play quite a bit bigger than both of these guys. It was a some type of I don't know, kind of looked like a wolfhound mix. So he was probably about eighty pounds ish, and he came out and <laughs> was interested in the puppy, and the puppy wanted nothing to do with him, <laughs> and he ran off. <laughs> it was it was so funny. I'm laughing now just thinking about it. He ran off, basically screaming. And he kept on going until yeah. we, we got the dog away from him. He was having nothing to do with it. <laughs> it was funny because he sits here and he runs Jasper. Yeah. He's all over Jasper. But this other dog came out there and he just, it, he sounded like a like a little child screaming his head off <laughs> yeah. and ran away. Yeah. So it was funny. Wish we, Tom, moments that you don't have the camera. Yep. That would have been nice. So. But we have the memories. Yep. Yeah. It's making me laugh right now. <laughs> Fasten down the legs. Yep. Four screws. Pretty simple. And there you have it set up for use. Now, there we go. Let's look at the dust cover situation for storage real quick. Before we actually run a hose outside and hook up propane. It looks like a fairly well made cover. I think it's pretty sturdy, although it feels like plastic, so I would not put it on there hot, yeah. for sure. <laughs> the whole point of the dust cover is to keep dust off the heating element. Yeah. The heating element is a platinum-infused cloth, something or other, that, that results in combustion, flameless combustion, that gives you radiant heat. So you don't have to have a fan, and you don't have to have an actual flame going. So that's what it looks like when it's... Ready for storage. What's up, Yeti? Yeti is very interested. Hmm? That was my eyeball. Oops. Ow. Get out, guys. Out. So you opening up the hose? Yep, this is the hose we got, the 12-foot hose, and I'm going to go outside and snake it through. We probably won't show you that, but yeah. if you've got a motor, or not a motor, but a fifth wheel, generally the kitchen slide is raised, and there's about an inch and a half to two inches of clearance there where there's a slide flap, which is why we insulated it to our videos earlier. <laughs> Oops. Dog disaster. So we, we put that insulation under there because there's that gap where there's just a rubber flap to insulate it. So we can slide this hose through there pretty easy. And that's what we're going to do. So, we'll all right, so I will read the operating instructions. For <laughs> I don't want to blow the place up. Please. So, I like our trailer. Assembling, yeah. I generally just fly by the seat of my pants. But when it comes time to light this thing, I want to make sure I'm doing it right. So, turn the heat control knob to start. Make sure the gas supply is turned on, and it is. Uh, depress the control knob for 10 seconds to allow the gas to flow into the gas lines and remove air. And that should only happen after you connect it to the gas. Mm -hmm. Every other time it should be an instant start. And then you're going to go ahead and start it. You're going to hold the button down for 60 seconds and then you're going to turn it over to heat. So let's go ahead and see. Boosh! Yeah. <laughs> uh, I'm going to get down here. Or singe off your fate, your beard. So I can see this. We're going to turn it to start. Give it 10 seconds. And I can hear the gas. Now we've got the little blue flame. We're supposed to give it 60 seconds so that the thermocouple gets warm enough to stay lit. It is right in there. I can see that. So we're going to sit here and let this go for a little bit. 
There's the whole thing lit. Now, some of the reviews I read said that it can smell the first time you burn it, so. Be aware. Be aware of that. And the directions also, in the other section of the directions that we didn't read to you, it says you need to have a little ventilation. So in an RV, crack a window open or something like that. What we're gonna do is turn our max fan in the bathroom on to low, just so that it provides some ventilation, and then crack a window open. So now I can feel the heat coming off of it, and it is putting out quite a bit of heat just off this. So I'm going to go ahead and switch it over to high, and it's still burning, I believe, and it's hot. And I hope the dogs know to stay away from it, because they're going to get burnt noses if they don't. Now, this is not something you would want to have in range of a child because I can feel right now that it's gonna get really hot. So if you're gonna buy one of these, plan on putting it someplace out of the way. Yeah. Children can't get to it, they're probably pets. Now what we're gonna do later tonight is we're probably just gonna set it up there. Yeah, I was just thinking it. Because Candace is gonna watch some TV for a little bit and I'll, we'll do that and then we'll set the heater up there. And this thing is putting out some heat. I'm standing- Yeah, I can feel it. Yeah, I'm standing Over next here to it on the couch. It's putting out quite a bit of heat. So we're going to go ahead and kill off the other heat sources and come back to you in a little bit and let you know what we think of it. All right. All right. So it's been about five or ten minutes since we started it. I've turned off all the other heat in the house and cracked the window open, got the fan going, just to make sure we have adequate ventilation. Although, newsflash, our bees aren't really that adequately <laughs> sealed. So there's probably, probably enough ventilation without doing that. But to err on the side of caution, we went ahead and opened up a window. We keep the bedroom cold anyway, so it's fine up there. Um, you'll see that we did move it up onto the counter here. And we did that because the dogs were playing. Jasper was super curious. He kept sniffing at it. And I know I joked about the dogs burning their nose, <laughs> but I really don't, we want, don't want to that. burn their nose. Because that would probably be Not, a little bit of heartbreak. Yeah. Excuse me. So... I think that it's probably going to do a great job of heating, especially the space that we bought it for. And I think it's going to do a great job of supplemental heating in here. And we were just discussing, or I was saying anyways, we might buy the smaller one for the back when we're boondocking and keep this one out here and use those to heat this place when we're boondocking because, again, the big propane heaters are inefficient and they will burn through a 40-pound tank of gas quickly to keep your place warm. Whereas this is supposed to be 95 to 99% efficient. We'll see how long the 20 pound propane tank lasts. And at some point in the future, we'll go ahead and drop a comment in here and let you know how long it actually lasted. And if it was capable of keeping up with this place when it gets cold, especially when we let the temperature drop overnight. Um, that's one thing we do. We let the temperature drop in the place overnight and then we turn the heat better on sleeping. in the morning. Because you get much better sleep when it's cold. Yep. Now, at the moment with Yeti, we keep a space heater back there because he don't like the cold that much. <laughs> He's kind of a baby when it comes to that. But this thing right here, standing this far away from it, I'm sweating, starting to sweat. Mm. So I think it's a good investment. I think it's going to work out well for us, but only time will tell that. You know, sometimes you buy stuff that is great when you start out, but not so great after you've used it a little bit. So anyways, hope you liked the video. I'm going to... <laughs> Candace, so she can close it out because she does the social media stuff's really good. I guess so. Thank y'all for watching. If you got any um, questions, concerns, comments, you know, drop it in the description or not me, drop it in the comments. <laughs> Give us a like, thumbs up, sub, um, and uh, share. share. Share this video. Yeah, share this video. <laughs> <laughs> and thank y'all for watching. And again, we'll see y'all tomorrow for day 20.